Hi, how are you everybody? It's Reed here and I am back on the road to Worlds. Couldn't be more excited. I'm here in Austin, Texas. Now, you guys know all about Austin, Texas. I'm sure there's been an explosion of jujitsu here these past several years. And so with the IBJJF World Championships, you know, just a few days away, we're all getting super stoked for it. I knew that I had to go out and check out one of the best, most prestigious academies here in Austin, Texas. It's brand new. It's one of the nicest academies I've ever seen. Now, of course, I'm talking about Six Blades Austin, home to the nine-time world champion, Shanji Hibero, the three-time world champion, Victor Hugo, one of the best gyms in Austin if you're wearing the gi. And with IBJJF Worlds just a couple days away, like I said, there's plenty of big storylines to be following, but one that we all need to be following is who is going to win the absolute division at the IBJJF World Championships. We have no Nicholas Marigali, no Bouchesha. It is wide open, okay? And if you know anything about what just happened a couple weeks weeks ago at the Brasileiro Championships, then you know Victor Hugo just might be the guy to put your money on. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So today we're gonna do our uh, comp training this class. I was focusing on our submission of course. So one thing we gotta remember, we about 10 days for the biggest storm in the world. Just put in your mind that you're already shaped, okay? When you're here today, your body's beat up, right? Your body's already fatigued from the days. It's very natural that you will get tired. But believe in your recovery. Also, the idea is to flow as much as possible, okay? We are being perfect for way too long. Now it's time to let things happen, okay? Don't, don't get too concerned, be free, okay? Do you think you wanna go for a sweep? Go for it, struggle, all right? Don't try to be all perfect. We all need to be perfect one day of the year. Well, for the black belt, two days of the year, okay? Oh, we like it. Okay. Guys, just have fun, all right? Say. We all know it's a Wednesday right before Worlds week. Um, the work's done, but what happens is, my experience is that a lot of times the body's so fatigued that the precision is not there anymore, right? Um, they're already shaped, they're already beat up. Now is actually doing the type of training that will recover them. But the one thing that I really focus is in their accuracy, right? Keeping the flow and the precision, because then what happens, I'm a, I'm a big believer that if you put too much volume of training, but now it gets a point where the quality of your movement is not there, now it's actually, I believe, is not really being beneficial for, for that, for the, uh, I would say the body has technology, right? So then your technology get off. Move my hip with that position, or kind of like pass my leg and then turn. There's two ways I can do this. If I have a feeling that I can just kind of pass my leg, make sure you fix it for the finish, okay? So just grab a partner, just go in, you start to, to climb. I got the position, I say go, go. Try to get back in, whatever you wanna do. Smash me a little, boom, boom. Once I put the chance, boom, boom, I got it. All right, do, give yourself a good three seconds just to kind of feel that adjustment. 
before you get the arm. All right, let's go. One, two. If I start to put this week too much volume, you know, uh, and, and too much intensity, it, it may be sustainable for injury, and I don't want that. We already see a lot of times people getting hurt right before the tournament. That's my main concern, all right? Um, also, the competitiveness uh, also has to slow down a little. You know, winning a training is not the point. The point is like, okay, can I defend a bad position? Can I execute one of my good sweeps? Because that's all it is, because I'm a big believer if you do your strategy, your good position, you get a good position, you're supposed to finish the fight, right? We already cover all the do's and don'ts. We already cover what could go wrong. We already cover what could go right. Now we just keep the machine running and precise. All right, tight. We're going to go cautious far, so we start from close guard. Let's go for submissions. Make sure you're there. Like I said, if you already had a mistake, don't worry about it, okay? In my experiences, last week of training for World Championships and my biggest titles, I was not even sweeping a blue belt. So don't worry about it, it's all in your mind. All right, pick up a partner, we're gonna, we're gonna do about five rounds, close guard, five, five round back position, five rounds uh, half guard, and then spar. Okay, let's go for the partner, one, two. Where my dogs at? Ball, ball, all of my dogs, ball to the dance. Yeah, I want it all, money to power, and the respect. Give me respect. Yeah. Uh, run me my check, yeah. Ooh, I'm one of the best. Uh, yeah, run it up. Come in correct or I come at your neck. Yeah, ooh, ball, ball, all of my dogs, ball to the dance. Yeah, I'm one it all, money to power, and the respect. Give me respect. Yeah. Uh, run me my check, yeah. Ooh, I'm one of the best. Uh, yeah, run it up. Come in correct or I come at your neck. Yeah, ooh. Busting it down like a rollie or something. Ooh, yeah. I got the pack. Running the play with no huddle or nothing. Ooh, okay. Look at the stats. Numbers disgusting. I don't do no bluffing. Ooh, no way. Never gonna dip off. I'm just like a tip off. How I get it jumping? Gang, gang, let my chain hang. I'ma shine with the click. Ooh, yeah. Bang, bang, get your brain, man. I'ma let off the clip. Ooh, okay. They get offended cause they can't defend it. The game in my grip. Hop out the bins or the hop in the phantom. These haters can't stand them. They pounding they lip. Ooh, uh. Yeah. Who really think they can stop him or check him? Uh, I'm laughing if you think they do competition Practice make perfect through straight repetition yeah. okay. I'm a bad boy like I play with the pistol yeah. Commit to my vision, they cannot erase and they cannot envision Me killing the game with no pattern, no pencil I gave them the blueprint, they just have to listen yeah. When you in the clutch, you coming up missing Ooh, yeah. When I'm in the clutch, I coming up swishing Ball, ball, all of my dog, ball to the dance. Yeah, I'm yeah. one it all, money to power and the respect. Yeah, uh, run me my check. Yo, ooh, I'm one of the best. Uh, yeah, run it up, come in correct or I come at your neck. Yeah, ooh, ball, ball, all of my dog, ball to the dance. Yeah, I'm one it all, money to power and the respect. Yeah, uh, run me my check. Yo, ooh, I'm one of the best. Uh, yeah, run it up, come in correct or I come at your neck. Yeah, yeah. Let's ball. I don't need no pep talk. I just let my check talk. I just let my check talk. Yeah. Let's ball. I don't need no pep talk. I just let my check talk. What's it like rolling with Victor? No oh, man, it's it's like a plane. It's like <laughs> give me a second, my breath <laughs> What's it like rolling with Victor, man? It's he does whatever he wants. I'm just his drilling partner. It feels like so I just keep moving, get smashed, have fun. <laughs> How do you think he's gonna do at Worlds? Oh man, double gold, no doubt. Oh yeah, he's a monster. Thanks, man. Thank you, brother. You're good, you know. I think, worlds? yeah, right before Worlds, I think that's just a, this part is about being happy. Uh, not, not much that you're gonna do here is gonna like, be, you're gonna, not gonna have enough time to work things still there. So I feel prepared. If the Worlds was like tomorrow, I was ready. So now it's just more about controlling, staying hungry, make sure that don't let your mind kind of like control you, like, oh, maybe we should train three times a day because Worlds next week. I think this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like my third as a black belt. As color belts, I did a couple. 
uh, I won, I think, every time I went to Worlds, I won. And, but this time, though, is the time that I'm feeling the best. There were there was times that around this time, before Worlds, I could barely walk, I could barely play guard. This, uh, for these Worlds, I feel like great. I think that, that the trip to Brazil helped me a lot. Putting some matches, you know, I think I went to Brazil for kind of like three weeks. I had 10 matches, so it was good, good rhythm. I feel good, and I can't wait to show what we work on, you know. I mean, yeah, you know, he knows the ways. You know, probably competed like 18 worlds or something like that, seven world championships. He's been doing it forever. I never go against what he says. I just like to take whatever he's trying, trying to have me do, and I do extra. So, pretty blessed to have him. And I think one of the ways to show my, my, my how grateful I am is just going there and representing six plates and representing our style, you know, which is like looking for the sub, having like that deep jujitsu, and yeah, prepared, be prepared. Thanks, Nicky. Yeah, bro. Well, Victor Hugo, he's a, he's a genius, you know, he, he can do things that no one can. Uh, the way he moves, the way he sets up, and he was a very raw, right? He was just being very raw. Everything you see about Victor Hugo is being just his talent. And also, I think what Victor needs to believe that he has that strength, you know, because he always being very flow. And I think, uh, especially Brasileiro, he was able to like grind, you know, just like, just like, Bushesha people a little bit, you know, just like boom, just mow people and just like be a big truck, you know. And I think he he he, he needed a tournament like that to say, well, I can actually grind with guys that are like arguably maybe bigger than him. Seven matches, I was able to submit six, and good good, probably one of my best performances so far in my career. And I think it was, uh, I think a lot of people are saying that nowadays. But I was able to prove that I actually look for the submission that I'm, 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 I'm fighting, you know. But I think it was a balance between like will to win and a precision whenever you get good positions. What well, uh, he did that Brazilian nationals like in the real world, you know. and his effort and everything he's, he represents for Six Blades and for the whole Jiu Jitsu world, that will never change, you know, but it's time for him to just sharp focus and, and work. We all parted this, okay, we all connected through our thoughts, our praise, you know, or our phones, whatever that is to make us together, but definitely to our hearts and our spirit. Alright? Good luck everyone. Champions on three. One, two, three. Champions! Champions!